Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So today we are going to continue with lecture 4 of chapter limits. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to find infinite limit, which is limit as of fx as x approach to a. We can either get what going to positive infinity or negative infinity. And the second learning outcome is to find the limit at infinity. So we are trying to find the limit of fx as x approaching to positive infinity and negative infinity. So please, it's different between this type of two. Huh? The first one is infinite limit. The second one is at infinity. Okay. To find infinite limit, the result will be in the form of infinite. To find limit at infinity, it's to find the limit of fx as x approaching to positive infinity or negative infinity. So, infinite limit. Infinite limits are usually obtained when a rational function resulting zero in the denominator part. Okay, so we we found about this. We we actually uh, meet this type of answer during our first discussion of tutorial, right? Okay, the denominator gets zero. Okay, as I say. The limit does not exist, but actually we can define as infinite limit. Okay. Example to evaluate limit of one over x squared as x approaching to zero, we must take left. Uh, we must take left and right hand limits as x approach to zero. Table below presents selected value. Okay, so we take the value of left side of 0, which is negative 1, negative 0 0.5, and so on up to negative 0 0.001, which is approaching to 0. So we can see that the number here, the value here is going, going bigger. And here, when we use x equal to negative 0 0.001, the value of fx is equal to 1 million, which is really big. So... As x approach to 0 from the left, it's getting bigger. And then, how about from the right? We can see that if we take 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, as x approaching to 0, the value of fx is approaching to really big number, which is for 0 0.001, the fx equal to 1 million. Okay? We, sh we should conclude that limit of 1 over x squared as x approach to 0 is actually approaching a an infinity value. So that's why we give the answer of infinity for this question. Graphically, f appears as in below figures. So we can see the graph. So as x approaching to 0 from the left side and from the right side, the value of y is approaching all going to infinity, going up to y exists, which is, we can assume it's a an infinity around here. Okay? When x approaches 0 from the left, fx approaches to infinity. And when x approaches 0 from the right, fx approaches to infinity. We can conclude that this limit of 1 over x squared as x approaches to 0 is approaching to infinity. Okay, let us see how we deal with question for this infinite limit at infinity. Okay, given fx equal to 1 over x minus 1. Okay, so this is our function. Find the limit of fx as x approach to 1 from the right and limit of fx as x approach to 1 from the left. So, how to find the solution? Usually, we directly substitute the value, right? So after we substitute the value, what do we have? We will have 1 over 0. Okay, so now from the right side of this, what we need to check is whether it can be a negative approaching to negative infinity or infinity, right? So we need to put positive from the right 1 plus 1 and plus. Why? Because it's coming from the right side of 1. So, right side of 1, it can be 1.1, 1.01, 1.001, which is this 1 plus is more than 1. So, 
since x is more than 1 such that 1.1 then we will have 0 but it's coming from the right side it's a positive 0 okay so the answer will be positive infinity okay how about from the left side okay so we want to find the limit of fx as x approach to 1 from the left side okay so usually we directly substitution by substitution what we have is 1 over 1 from the left minus 1 so what are the value of 1 from the left so left side of 1 it can be 0 0.9 0 0.99 0 0.999 and so on since x is less than 1 such that 0 0.9 so this value is smaller than this one so if 0 0.9 minus 1 what do we have we will have 0 it's still 0 but it's coming from the left side okay it's coming from the left side of 0 so it's actually a negative number so the answer should be negative infinity so please take note this type of question huh? so we have to determine yes we get 1 over 0 we can say that does not exist or the if we want to find with the direction from the right side or left side we need to determine whether it's a positive infinity or negative infinity okay so other ki other criteria of limits so if we have limit of 1 over x to the power of r so this is a polynomial as x approach to 0 from the right side so directly it will come into positive infinity but if we have 1 over x to the power of r this polynomial as x approach to 0 from the left side okay so this one is from the right side we have positive infinity this one we have a negative uh, from the left side we will have either negative infinity or positive infinity depending on the type or the value of r so if we have odd number r is an odd number then we have negative infinity as usual a number with a negative number to power of negative power a number with uh, negative number to power of uh, odd numbers it will give you that odd numbers itself but if it's negative number to power of even number we will have a positive value because the negative sign will be cancelled out okay so be careful the other expression in the function will also affect the positive or negative value of the infinite limits Example 2. Given fx is equal to 1 over x minus 2 all square. Okay, so what the difference with the first example? This one we have the x we have the power of 2. It's a square here. A power of even number, right? Okay, find limit of fx as x approach to 2 from the right side and from the left side. So, from the right side, we substitute the function and then we directly using substitution, we get 1 over 0, right? Because 2 minus 2 is 0. But because it's 2, it's coming from the right side, we put the positive sign here. So, this 2 it will be bigger than the other 2, right? So, these 2 like 2.01, 2.001, 2.1, so will be bigger than 2. Such, okay, so what we have is 0 from the right side. So 0 from the right side square. Okay, because we have power square and it's positive, so it will be directly a positive infinity. Okay, so how about from the left side? So limit of fx as x approach to 2 from the left side so we substitute the function 1 over x minus 2 square and then after we substitute the value of 2 by using substitution what do we have we will have 1 over 0 okay but this 2 it's coming from the left side okay so what are the value coming from the left side of 2 
So if we look at our number line, left side of 2 is 1.9 because this one is 1. So 1.9, 1.8, 1.999. Okay, so it's this value, this 2, 12, uh, two of, from the left side is smaller than 2 such that 1.9 okay so what will we have we have 1.9 minus 2 is a negative 0 0.1 so we have negative that approaching to 0 negative number that approach to 0 so we can denote it as 0 negative 0 from the left side okay and then remember the criteria before if it's approaching if it's 1 over 0 Okay, 1 over 0 to power of, uh, to power of, from the left side, so it depends to the, it depends to the R's, that value of R. So, the value of R here is 2. So, because it's an even number, so the answer should be, so this negative number will be cancelled out, right? Because negative, direct negative, it will be positive. So, that's why we will have a positive infinity. Okay, so please take note the power here. The power and from the right or from the left side of zero. Okay, that, that thing you need to consider before you answer the infinity value. So example 3. Find limit of x plus 3 over x minus 3 as x approach the 3 from the right side. So, directly we substitute value. We get 3 plus 3 over 3 from the right side minus 3. Okay, the top one directly we get 6. But the bottom one, we always concern about the denominator. So, we have 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0. But because this 3 is coming from the right side, so, this 3 positive here is bigger than the other 3, right? So, we get 0 from the right side. So, 6 over 0 from the right side, it will always be positive infinity. Okay? Okay, now for B. Limit of x squared plus x plus 2 all over x squared minus 2 x minus 3 as x approach to negative 1 from the right side. What do we do? As usual, we directly substitute the value. After we substitute the value, we actually get, so here is negative 1 square plus negative 1 plus 2 over negative 1 square minus 2 of negative 1 minus 3. So we get 1, here we get positive 2, so 1 plus 2 minus 3 is 0 and here is 1 minus 1 plus 2 is 2 over 0. Okay, so by substitution we get 2 over 0. So usually what we do is we either because this is a quadratic, right? We can we can either factorize or using the conjugate. Okay, that's for 0 over 0. Okay, but here Two, because we have 2 over 0, we can factorize as so because we want to substitute this negative 1. Okay, so what do we have? So negative 1, so x plus 1 will be the factor. Lah. So this x squared minus 2, x minus 3 can be factorized into x minus 3 multiplied with x plus 1. So if we substitute negative 1 into the function we have now, what we have at the top still 2 but at the bottom, it's a negative 1 minus 3 multiplied with negative 1 plus here. Okay, we have plus here plus 1. So, negative 1 from the right side. So, negative 1 from the right side. What is the number of negative 1 from the right side? If we list out, we get negative negative 0 0.9, negative 0 0.999 and it's coming from 0, right? It's negative 1 here. So, it's nearing to 0. From 0 going to negative, sorry, this negative 0 0.9 should be the other side, kan? So, let's say this is negative 0 0.9. So, coming nearer to negative 1 is negative 0 0.99. 
negative 0 0.999 so if negative 0 0.999 it's smaller than positive 1 so what we have the answer here we get positive 0 right why because z neg you can try using your calculator the nearest one to negative 1 is negative 0 0.999 plus with 1. It's like 1 minus 0 0.9999. So, it's still a positive number. That's why it's 0 positive. So, 2 divided with negative 4 multiplied by 0 positive. So, what is multiplication negative 4 with the positive of 0? Okay. So, this multiplication with negative 4, it will affect the sign of 0. So, 0 positive, it's positive number, but because we are multiplying with a negative number here, so the 0 will be negative. It's still a 0 because any number multiplied by 0 will be 0, but it's not mm, positive anymore. It's getting negative positive. So, the answer will be negative infinity. Okay? Okay, if we directly substitute negative 1 here, we cannot solve it, right? That's why we need to factorize out so that we can see which one that gives the number 0, give the result of 0, okay? So, this step is important. Okay, example 4. Find the values of limit limit of 1 over x squared minus 4x x approach to a for any given a so now we have four numbers of a to test so for question a as a approaching uh, a is equal to 2 positive from the right side so if we substitute the value it's always 1 over 0 so if we substitute again 2 we cannot determine we, uh, the 0 is a positive 0 or negative 0. So, because it's a quadratic, what we can do is to factorize it. Okay? So, we factorize x squared minus 4 into x minus 2 multiply with x plus 2. Okay? So, x2 from the right side, if we substitute the value, this x on the first part, 2 from the right side is bigger from the 2 that we have to subtract here. Okay? So, such that 2.1. So, if we sub subtract 2.1 with 2, so what we have, we have 0 0.1, which is still a positive number. So, we have 0 plus here. It's a positive 0. So, positive 0 multiplied with a positive number is still a positive 0, which is, so this part here is still a 0 positive. So, the answer will be a positive infinity. So, let's see question B. So, the same method we do, the same step. So, we have to factorize and then we substitute the value 2 from the left side. So, 2 from the left side, if we substitute it, it's coming from left side of 2. So, the number can be 1.9, 1.999 and so on. So, let's say this 2 from the left side is less than 2 such that 1.9. So, if we subtract 2, we will have a negative number. That's why 0, negative. Okay, from the left side of 0. So, from the left side of 0 is a negative number. So, negative multiplied with a positive will be negative from the left, uh, negative number lah. So, it's 0 from the left side. So, any number divided by 0 from the left side, which is a negative number. So, it will be a negative infinity. Okay. So, the difference here, it's coming from the left side. The 0 itself coming from the right side. Even though it's multiplied with positive number, it's still a negative number. Okay. For question C, the A is negative 2 from the right side. So, if we substitute negative 2, so... From the right side, negative 2 from the right side, it's so we can see what are the values. So this is negative 2, the right side of negative 2 is negative 1, this one is negative 3, right? So right side of negative 2 is negative 1.9, such that negative 1.9. So if negative 1.9 plus with 2, so it will be a positive number, that's why it's 0 from the right side. But because 0 from the right side here, 0 from the right side here is multiplying with a negative number. So, it will be a 0 from the left side. 
a negative number. Okay, so 1 over negative number will be negative infinity. Okay, so this is different from the question A. Question A, it's multiplied with the positive number, so it keep a positive number. But question C, because we are multiplied with negative number. Okay, so let's see for question D. So, it's x approach to negative 2 from the left side. So, if we substitute the value, the 2 is from the left side. What are the value from the left side of 2? So, negative 2. Left side of 2 is negative 2.1. Such that negative 2.1, which is less than negative 2. Okay, so if negative 2.1 plus with 2, we, will ha we still have a negative number. So, do we assume that it's a negative 2.1 lah. So, this will be 0 from the left side. A negative number, right? So, a negative number here, multiply with negative 4, what will we have? Yes, we will have a positive number. So, 1 over 0 from the right side. So, the answer will be positive infinity. Okay? Okay, good. So, let's continue. Limits at infinity. So, previously we learned about infinite limit. Okay, because we substitute value and we, and we get one a value over any value over zero. So, that's why it will be for infinity. But now we want to find limit as x approach to infinity. So, frequently there is an interest in the behavior of a function as the independent variable become large without limit. So, approaching either positive or negative infinity. Okay, this one usually we use to find, to sketch the graph. Huh? So, we can know where is the, uh, where is this graph stretch on. Okay, in figure below, as x approaches negative infinity, fx approaches but never quite reach a value of 4. Okay, so this y equal to 4 is the asymptote, horizontal asymptote. Okay, just like the function for exponential and logarithmic function, if we can relate. Huh? So, as x approaches negative infinity, going to the left, this value of function, the function is going to y equal to 4, but it's not quite rich. Okay, using limit notation, we state the limit of fx as x approaches negative infinity. Okay, this x is going to negative infinity to the left side. It's going to 4. Approaching to 4. It's just approaching to. We can also state that fx has a horizontal asymptote of y equal to 4 as x approaches negative infinity. fx approaches but never quite reach a value of 4 as x approaches to negative infinity. In figure below, gx approaches a net but never quite reach the x axis as x approaches to infinity. So x going to the right side, the function gx is going to the x axis but will not touch the x axis. Okay, so we can set the beast, this behavior by notation of limit of gx x x approach to positive infinity is equal to zero. Why? This is when y equal to zero, right? Okay. So, G, gx is the value of y. So, let's see example. Given the graph of fx equal to 2x over x minus 1, state the limit of fx as x approach to positive infinity and negative infinity. Okay? So, we are using the graph to give the results. Huh? So, if we can see when x approach to positive infinity, going to the right side, our graph is going to Yes, it's going to y equal to 2. It's going to y equal to 2 but never quite rich. So that's why we can put 2 as the result. It's a value of y, right? And then when x approach to negative infinity, so it's going to the left of left side of x axis. So we can see the graph itself is going to 2 also, right? So we can give the answer of Two. So this is line of y equal to two. It's going here, but never quite which. Okay, example six. Given f x equal to one over x squared, x squared, state the limit of f x as x approach to positive infinity and limit of f x as x approach to negative infinity. So what do we do here? 
So as usual, we put one of the function first, so 1 over x squared as x approach to positive infinity, and then what we can do is substitute the infinity. So what we have is infinity square, which is still a positive infinity. So one you let's say we have one pizza, we need to divide with every person in this kedah, kedah, this kedah. Do you think you get anything? You won't get any smell. Okay, so you get nothing actually. So because we are dividing one thing into many things, uh, into many percent. Or we have one pizza we want to divide with our family of 50%. Do you think it's enough? It's not enough. So it's we get nothing actually. So that's why the answer is zero. So this is the analogy. Lah. Okay. Okay, now for the limit of fx as x approach to negative infinity. So the same, we substitute the function 1 over x square as x approach to negative infinity. So negative infinity square, we get positive infinity because the square. Okay, so take note the square here. So actually we get equal to 1 over negative infinity square. So this sign will be cancelled out. Huh? It will be positive because of even power. So 1 over infinity is still 0. So both of these approach to 0. So we have asymptote at y equal to 0. Okay, so example 7. Given fx equal to x plus 1, find the limit of fx as x approach to positive infinity and negative infinity. So, we substitute the value positive infinity plus 1. So, any bigger number, we add up anything, it will still a bigger number. Lah. So, because let's say 1 billion, we add up 1, it's nothing. It's nothing to them. So, it's still a positive infinity. How about approaching to negative infinity? So, after we substitute a negative infinity, if we add up 1, a small value, it won't affect the negative infinity. So, it's still a negative infinity. Okay? Example 8. Given fx equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1, find the limit of fx as x approach to infinity and limit of fx as x approach to negative infinity. So, as usual... For the quadratic function, so we substitute the value positive infinity square, it will be positive infinity, plus 2 multiplied with infinity will be positive infinity and plus 1. So it's positive infinity, really a big number. Okay, how about fx as x approach to negative infinity? Okay, if we substitute negative infinity, we get positive, right? Okay, so because we have mm, positive infinity minus with negative infinity, right, this one will be positive infinity, but this one will be negative infinity. Okay, so we have to do substitution because we cannot determine what is the infinity number. We don't know that exact value in, of infinity. So, we can factorize because it's a quadratic, right? So, we can factorize. So, factorize highest degree of x, so we can factor it into linear. Eh, sorry. Factorize out the power. Okay, so we factorize out the x squared from the function. So, we have 1 over the here. So, 1 over infinity, we know what exactly the value, right? So, x squared is negative infinity square. So, we get positive infinity here is positive infinity, but inside the bracket, what we have is 1 plus 2 over infinity, 2 over negative infinity, plus with 1 over infinity. So, any number divided with negative infinity or positive infinity will be 0, 0, 0. So, it left with 1. So, 1 multiplied with positive infinity will be positive infinity okay remember huh, because we get this upper infinity minus infinity so we don't know what is this infinity we don't know what this is infinity what this infinity okay the exact value of infinity we don't know that's why we have to factorize out the highest degree of x okay how to factorize out okay so x squared factorize out x squared so we divide with x squared right the same as 2x. 2x, we divide with x squared because we factorize our x squared already. That's why we have 2 over x. 
And then 1 also, we have to divide with x squared because we factorize out the x squared. Just divide the factor. Okay, example 9. Given fx equal to 4 plus 3x minus 2x squared plus x cubed. So this is a cubic function. Find limit of fx as x approach to positive infinity and limit of fx as x approach to negative infinity. So we substitute the function. After we substitute the value, we will get 4 plus infinity. It's still infinity minus infinity. Right. Okay, if we substitute, uh, we get 4 plus infinity minus infinity because the minus 2 multiplied with positive and then plus infinity. Okay, so because we have this minus infinity plus infinity, what we need to do is to, sub to factorize out the highest power of x. So what is the highest power of x here? Okay, so it's x cubed. So what do we have? We have 4 over x cubed plus 3 over x squared minus 2 over x plus 1. So for x cubed, it will be a positive infinity. But the other one, the other value here will be 0, 0, 0. And here is plus 1. So it's a positive multiplied with positive infinity. So it will be positive infinity. What about as x approach to negative infinity? Okay, so after we factorize out, uh, after we substitute, we don't have positive and negative infinity. It's still negative infinity everywhere. Here, it's negative infinity multiplied by 3 is negative infinity. Here is positive infinity, but multiplied with negative 2 is still negative infinity. <coughs> and negative infinity to the power of 3 is still a negative infinity. So it will be negative infinity plus with negative infinity plus with negative infinity is a negative infinity. So that's why the answer is negative infinity. Okay? Okay, so that's all for this uh, learning outcome. So we have to find <coughs> infinite limits and limits at infinity. So infinite limit is when we substitute the value and get, we get a denominator of 0. So previously we put does not exist. But here we learn it how to exactly find as x approach to from the right side or from the left side. Okay? It's four separated value only. If we don't have from the right side or from the left side, we directly put does not exist. Okay, and then the second part is we learn about to find the limit at infinity as x <coughs> as x approach to positive infinity and negative infinity. So please take note all the criteria that we need to follow. Lah. Okay, so we are going to left with another last uh, le lecture of chapter seven. Okay, so you guys you guys can watch this lecture. And try to do the tutorial question. Uh, I think it's question number 5 and 6. Okay, please look at that quest tutorial question. So, thank you for now.